Hey, welcome back everybody to Everyday Off-Road. This episode, we will be dealing with how to adjust a fully adjustable control arm suspension. Preferably, on a 98ZJ, aka Double D. Now, previously, I have installed a four, inch, four and a half inch rough country lift. I opted to go with the core 4x4 control arms, which if you watched the, one of our previous videos, the unboxing video, you'll see the nice red control arms we have. Sadly, nobody can give you a decent measurement. Where do you start out at? How do you, how do you get your control arms and your front suspension dialed in? At least enough to take it to the alignment shop. Well, <clears throat> I'll show you how I did it. All right, here's one of the problems we're having with this t this lift. As you can see, that wheel is not centered in the wheel well. When I first put it on, I did a, a, an educated guess, and well, I was wrong. So, the plan today, we need to measure across the wheel well, find center, which I have already, and I actually have the number from little d, the 97 that's not lifted. I'm going to put a mark on there, well, actually, a piece of tape with a mark. And drop a plumb bob down even though yes we're not perfectly level we're gonna get a lot closer than what we are the idea is to remove the lower control arm and unbolt the top control arm at the axle then I'm going to use one of my uh, ratchet straps I'm going to pull that to approximately the center of the of the wheel well. I will install the new lower control arm to where the bolts fit in nice and smooth. That will give me my measurement that I can use to mimic for the other side. Also, we're not jacking it up. We'll be doing all this work with this tire on the ground. So, let's get our the tape up here and get our center line marked. Drop our plumb bob. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping the tire is not going to interfere with the plumb bob hanging straight. But we'll see. So, bring you guys back in a couple of minutes. I'd say we are pretty close to what we need to be. I went a little past because I figured it's going to shift back. Oh, wait a I kind of got your, your microphone tucked underneath my jacket here to kind of block some of the wind. I'm going to call that good. Now, what we need to do is... Okay. We're all any seized up. Both these are tightened down. We actually got measurements. There is, you line those up down there, an inch and five sixteenth difference. That's about what I guess, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, push forward. Not too bad for eyeballing with a swinging plumb bob. All we have to do now is wipe off any any seas that may be we floating around because you know how that stuff gets. Put our stickers on. Make sure that they're on the outsides. Install the driver's side. Or not the driver's side. Don't know yet. Either one could be. So, let's clean our act up. Put it on some stickers. And mount the driver's side. And then try to get the upper control arm off. And I'll bring you back in a couple minutes. Okay, we got the stock upper control arm out, 
as you can see it's just stab steel what we're gonna do now is get a measurement between these mounting holes and add an inch and five sixteenth and set our uppers that are going in so let's see if we get a measurement here come on Fifteen and an eighth. Fifteen and an eighth. Usually what I do is I will take my tape measure. Stay here. Hey, hey. Go to the ten. Go to the ten. And put the ten right at the edge of the hole. And then I will measure to the other side. Which is right there, 25 and 8. Remember to, remember to, okay, come on, come on, guys. Here. Remember to measure to the outside, because that's what you had on the other side. As you subtract 10. So I have 15 and an 8. Set. Almost 16 and a half is what we're going to have to set our new control arms to. Okay, here we go. We got all control arms are in. You will need a good ratchet strap. Only because you gotta jostle the axle around a little bit. There we go. You see the line there? We pull her back out to where she belongs. Everything is hunky dory. Okay, here we go. Got new, our new tires, our old rims. All our control arms are on. They're adjusted. As you can see, the wheel now does sit a little more centered in the wheel well. And it's not straight. But it is centered a lot better in the wheel well. <clears throat> All right, let's call this end of part one. With your front control arms adjusted, you now have proper caster and your pinion angle is correct you are also ha have your front axle centered in the wheel wells so this is the end of part one with part two we will be dealing with tracking and tow in the two major ones that can cause bad steering so I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by, listening to me ramble on. Uh, if, if you haven't already, hey, click the subscribe button. While you're down there, ring the bell. That will give you a notification every time I post new content here on Everyday Off-Road. If you uh, like the video, give us a big thumbs up. And always, i like to hear what you have to say. Comments, questions, concerns, criticisms. Leave them in the comment box below. So. Till the next video, we shall catch you guys later.